Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedesp.net. It's time to continue my current video series and that's about creating and building applications with ASP.NET Core 5 and Angular 9. In the current video I'm going to implement edit functionality of our cat Instagram project. So let's go to Visual Studio and implement the edit functionality. As you know, I'm using folder by feature uh, project structure. So in the features folder and the cats folder, I should have cats controller. Here, what I want to do is I need to add public async task action result. Uh, edit, create or update. Edit is more than enough. That should be HTTP put because we are creating a REST endpoint and I would need to have a request model. So create cat request model has an image URL and a description, but the edit or update, let's create it update, sounds better I believe. Add new class, update cat request model should have only public int id of the cat I'm trying to edit and public string description. Description. And the description should have the same validation as the create cat request model, which should be the same with the... Hmm, but description is required. So I need to put it both required and to have max length of this description. But I would need using validation dot using static data validation dot cat like this. Okay, so I added update cat request model since the description is required Although in the original Instagram app it's not required, but let's make it like a title of the image. It doesn't matter actually. It's a matter of business requirements. We are making Instagram clone for cats, but we also may add additional features. We will see in the future. So update cat request model. I will need to receive update cat request model like this. Then what I need to do is I need to get the current user ID because I need to validate whether the current user actually created the uh, cat. Because otherwise it shouldn't be... Uh, otherwise it shouldn't be... Uh, available for updating. I just tell that we didn't add created on property in the cat model so I'm going to add that after I implement the update functionality because we will need to sort the cats by their uh, were their dates. Get service, or I may add that in a future video, that doesn't matter, but I need to add it for sure. Okay, so we have user ID, then I'm going to add to the iCAT server, iCAT service, public task of bool whether the update was successful or not update and I'm going to add 
at int id string description and what else is required here i need string user id to validate whether the cat can be updated by this user currently i'm updating only the description because the cat uh, on the instagram app when i create a post i cannot change the image and that should be by design so let's say that var result updated equals await this cat service dot update i need to pass model id model dot description and user id like this if it couldn't be updated then that means that i should return a bad request because apparently someone is trying to edit someone is trying to edit uh, a cat which does not belong to him let's think whether i should return okay accept it it's not okay challenge conflict content created it's forbid local physical problem okay is more than fine cool cats controller this is implemented now we need to implement it here too so i'm going to add the update method and what i'm going to do is var cat equals to await this dot data dot cats dot where i'm searching for a cat which has the same id and the same user id as the provided ones and i'm searching for first or default async like this if the cat is no then the user or the id are not valid so it means that the, the user will not be able to edit that cat otherwise we are going to change the description of the cat to the provided description then i'm going to say this data save changes async and i'm going to return true that should be more than enough for the update action let's run it and see how it works but before we validate the action actually is working correctly i'm going to show you my mentorship program if you go to my Patreon page, you will find information about my new mentorship program, which I'm kind of very happy about it because people are responding very great results. Uh, the mentorship program is available on patreon.com Kenov, and if you go there, you will see different tiers in which you will be able to support this channel and my tools I'm creating in my free time so for each different tier I am providing different uh, different gifts so to say for example for as low as five dollars a month 
you will receive one hour extra exclusive video material about advanced C sharp topics which are not publicly available anywhere. For example, for April, I'm going to release uh, a video about data structure efficiency, which should be very useful for people who are not that familiar with all the data structures available in .NET. You will receive a private community, live event recordings, a voting system in which you can uh, vote for my future videos or become my boss, which is actually you telling me what kind of video to create on my YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. And additionally, I would like to show you where you can find my the source code of this project. It's on my GitHub profile, if I will can of, hit repositories. You may follow me on GitHub if you like. Write down TV and that's essentially the repository. You may star it. I will appreciate it. But here I'm uploading every single video I create. A link for it and the source code which you can download, play with it, clone, fork, change, whatever you like. You may also watch the repo because I usually upload everything first here and then on YouTube so you will know in advance. I would like to thank my sponsors, my diamond sponsor Endeavor and my gold sponsor Softuni, SmartIT, NobleHire and OneBit Software. Thank you guys, you truly rock. You motivate me to continue doing the free lessons on YouTube and Endeavor is constantly searching for passionate developers so make sure you check them out and all the other sponsors are Softuni, SmartIT, NobleHire and OneBit Software. Thank you guys, you truly rock. Now let's get back to Postman. I would like to be able to edit the third cat so Let's make a put request to the cats with a body of ID equals 3. The description some cat updated like this. Let's send this and see what's happening. The JSON value could not be converted to okay like this bad request maybe i will i'm not able to edit this cat let's try with the second one that returns 200 which should be fine so i believe everything is working correctly because i cannot edit the third cat it's returning bad request as intended very nice and let's go see if I make a GET request to CATS2, whether it's updated. Yeah, it's updated. So apparently everything works correct on our update action. So guys, thank you very much for uh, being with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, turn on the notifications because a lot more videos about C Sharp are coming. And if you happen to be an ASP.NET developer, make sure you check out my tools, which are for easier testing on web applications, whether it's for ASP.NET Web API 2, the legacy one, or the ASP.NET Core, you can create unit and integration tests in a matter of seconds because they are written very readable and they are written in a fluent syntax style. Make sure you try these projects. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.